So we actually see Kiwa returns as Tycoon, but Ace wants to know who's trying to sabotage him and his winning streak, knowing that the fact that it was actually Kiru Ri and the others who tried to break his streak. But now they come up with an idea to do so knowing of how everyone is actually going back to their normal ways, we can actually see how they also got questions as well. Like Neon asking her father how did she knew about the Desire Grand Prix and its tournaments. But we saw that a little girl wearing a red hat stealing the Desire Drivers which the writers was gathered around after the fact that Ace and Win transform and battle the Yamato, the writers have got their drivers to remove, which causing the Yamato to transform into the Yamato Rider. But it's sort of like a musical chair game, which the Yamato call himself the Hide and seek Jamato, in which knowing of how he, I mean, the creature is out there on the loose. But we could actually see Jirochi asking <clears throat> Archie Metal about how the Jamatos have gotten their hands on the drivers, knowing of how. He was a mad scientist. He actually come up with an idea that they are quick to their intelligence, knowing of how they will use their drivers to transform. But we see how they work together, meaning Kiwa and Neon, to actually get their drivers back. So they transform, knowing of how Asuma won't trust any of them, knowing that he's battled them as well. That is when we saw the two new members of the Desire Grand Prix, which is Naram, who is the executive, the administrative executive, sort of like a commissioner of the esports tournaments they actually have, and Sadmus who's actually her, his assistant. So which they realize that they're in trouble, by which Ace actually have a new rise buckle, which is actually the command twin, which it was actually Naram who's used the command to do so, in which Ace as Kira a favor to let him use his desired driver to defeat the Yamato and try to get his driver back. And in return, he'll give him all of his rise buckles when he's done using them. Which he using a new rise buckle to transform into his rising form and his command mode as well. Knowing of how is powerful with a new weapon rising sword which also has another rise buckle as well which they actually saw gates transform into his first power-up mode then he used it i mean they used a new rise buckle to transform into his <clears throat> cannon mode which have two new armors fused into one and he defeated the Jamato Rider with his new attack in which Ace give Kira back his driver and two new rice buckles but it was too late for him to get back his driver when Asuma have gotten his back knowing that there is two more left but the Jamatos transform knowing of what they'll do next meanwhile we see Jiri was angry at Niram for interfering with the battle, knowing of how he actually do whatever he wants with 
the entire tournament, which at the end of the episode, we see the rule that actually states an ID core is locked to a player. And while it is true, the desired driver can be used by anyone. And they told them to take care of the driver and not to lose it, which that is an important rule for them to follow. So let me go ahead and rewind to the rule, which it is possible that the ID core is locked to a chosen player. And since Ace, Asuma, Neon, Kira, and Win have gotten the ID cores locked into them, but their desired drivers have been stolen by a little girl in the red hat, which we see the debut of the administrative executive Niram and his secretary Samas, which must to Jiru Ri's anger. But we knew how he will get involved. Meanwhile, we see how Ace got a new rise buckle, the Command Twin Rise Buckle, and a new weapon, the Rising Sword, which is actually a new power up for Gates. But we're going to see what's going to happen on the next episode next weekend when the new power up button, I mean, power up mode, is going to work for. Tycoon, because on the toy box, we see the power up mode only works for Gates and Tycoon. So, anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and my Facebook page and Twitch. Until then, this is Anime Guys right here saying sign out. Laters and be safe.